Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Bomb Emacier Capeland Shelby Cobra Limited Edition. There's two different versions here. The one on the, uh, the, the alligator strap here is the reference uh, 10282. Um, and this version on the one on the rubber strap is the 10281. Um, slight differences between the two, but for the most part, they are um, really similar timepieces. So uh, let's go back to a little bit of the sort of context here. Um, the new version of the the Balmamase Cape Lance came out several years ago, and it was meant to be sort of a modern version of a very very classic kind of like 1940s 1950s era. Um, sports chronograph watch and a couple years ago um, they decided that hey let's make some watches with uh, Shelby so they they got the official license from Shelby um, to produce a Shelby timepiece. Now Shelby's classic car is the AC Cobra um, and we got to actually uh, play with a couple Shelby Cobras uh, down uh, in Irvine here in Southern California at Super Performance that is an authorized uh, retailer of Shelby AC Cobras so if you want to get one we recommend super performance uh, good guys very knowledgeable and they also like the watches and one of the things we found very interesting is that um, when it comes to car watch collaborations which are tough to do they tend to resonate better with the car person versus the watch person because it tends to be the car person that uh, is a little bit more excited about these watch people tend to be a little bit on the snobbier side surprise surprise but in the scheme of a uh, car themed watch I think this is done you have um, I don't know if the number is actually random. I guess it's just sort of the number that would be like on the side of the car in the back there. These are each a limited edition of um, 1,963, 1963. Um, and what they do here, which I'm not a huge fan of, they say one of 1,963 rather than individually numbering them because they all say one of, because they're technically all one of, but I prefer where it's one of, two of, three of, it's a semantic thing, and it makes it a little bit easier for them because it reduces um, uh, the cost of production to in individually name each one. But it's a minor thing. It's not that big of a deal. Um, good styling overall in terms of the sort of the, the Shelby um, imagery and symbolism. You don't really have that much from the dial. Um, there is the Shelby Cobra logo. Hard to see there is the counterweight on the chronograph seconds hand. Um, some distinctive coloring there which I think is nice, but you don't have um, any actual Shelby branding on the dial, um, aside from some of that sort of car themed uh, look. You got some uh, horizontal racing stripes here. Um, and then again, there's a little bit of Shelby branding um, on the back where it says um, Shelby Cobra edition um, right over here. So let's put this watch on the wrist, 44 millimeters wide. Um, the movement is a base, um, at a, I think it's a, what is it? So let's take a look. I'll tell you. That's a, what is it? That's a Valjo. I think that's a 7753, uh, which is essentially um, the 7750 with a slightly different um, orientation there. So it moves to the side. So you have this, uh, what they call a tri compact look sometimes. You have the date over there. Classic looking dial, pretty legible, handsome. Um, you, you know, someone on the team basically said it's the type of watch that you can wear if you're a Shelby owner um, so that you, you know, if you're, at, if you're bored at the office, you can look at your watch and remember the fun car that you have in the garage that you can play with at the end of the day um, or the weekend. So this is the, this is the all steel um, version uh, 10282. Um, this version, the 10281, is a little bit different because you can see the side of the case um, is matte finished black. Um, of course, on the rubber strap as well. So again, if you look at it straight on, it's essentially similar, but you look on the side, you see that nice uh, matte, uh, matte black middle case, which is cool. One of the things I want to mention about the Cape Lens I like is this big ass crown. Um, it's really comfortable to use. It's, it's relatively flat against the side of the case, meaning it doesn't protrude too much, but it's, it's a tall crown, right? So that just means it's, it's very comfortable uh, to, to use in the wrist. Um, or to, to, to use in the wrist, to, to spin with your fingers. There we go. Um, and then you have your nice uh, kind of black 
uh, coated, uh, not really matte, a little shiny um, automatic rotor there. The movement is actually pretty well decorated. I have to say um, that they did a nice job with the movement decoration. Again, both of these watches are limited editions of 1,963. So again, they're both 43 millimeters wide. Um, pretty good looking timepieces. Um, this version here of the Capeland Shelby Cobra uh, is a little bit less expensive at $4,450 because it doesn't have that uh, middle section in black. And the, and the 10281 here uh, is priced at $4,550. And you can see the full review on a Block 2 watch. Thanks.